Ganu put the world on notice last night in his boxing match against Tyson Fury, and part of the reason is because of how well he fought in close quarters and how he dominated the clinch exchanges. We're going to see here that Ngannou steps in for a jab. Fury tries to swim an underhook on that far side, but notice that Ngannou keeps his right hand glued to his face. This allows him to frame his forearm on the inside of Fury's bicep. He's going to pummel this left elbow inside as well, and now he's got both his hands inside the arms of Fury, and he's able to start boom, boom, landing these short little uppercuts, right? Now again, they're going to engage in the clinch, but notice that it's Ngannou with his head tilted up toward the left-hand corner of our screen, putting weight on the right arm of Tyson Fury. Here comes another exchange, right? But look, I can't get over the right-hand discipline of Ngannou. Right hand stays glued to his face as Fury throws this left hook. Boom. And it allows Ngannou to see how his arm's inside. As they square up, you're going to see again. The forearm is framed on the inside of Fury's bicep, and it's allowing Ngannou to dominate these exchanges, and it's tiring Fury out more than it is Ngannou. Here we're going to see that Ngannou gets to more of a wrestling-style position, kind of a body lock, gets good head positioning, and again, putting weight on the arms of Tyson Fury. Here comes another exchange, guys. You guys noticing a common theme yet? That right hand stays up, and when Fury throws the left, Ngannou gets inside positioning, is able to frame, and as they separate... Land some short little shots here. There it is again in the next exchange. Inside frame, weighs on the arms of Fury, and then to cap things off, lets him know I could take you down in an MMA fight.